Things are looking pretty nice across much of the desert southwest, although we are kind of caught in between two weather systems right now with the bulk of the cloud cover and those showers and thunderstorms now moving out toward East Texas and Louisiana. We have another batch of rain and snow now moving into California, Oregon and also Washington state. But I do have this area circled right here over the last six to 12 hours. You can actually pick out a very weak upper level disturbance that'll work its way from west to east across the state today and that may spark off a couple of spotty showers, mainly across southeastern and even western sections of the state. But again, I do think the vast majority of us will stay dry. But heading out the door this morning, things are actually looking fairly nice. Waking up with just a little bit of cloud cover, but mainly dry out there and temperatures milder compared to what we saw yesterday and the day before. So I think many of you will get away with just a light jacket as you head into work this morning. Uh, dew points are still hovering in those teens with relative humidity values at 35% and we do have that north wind coming in at six miles per hour. So again, the wind chill value at about 38 degrees. Now we do have some locally windy conditions across the northeastern sections of the state. So we do have that red flag warning in effect until seven o'clock this evening. Could see some of those winds gusting up to about 40 miles per hour. So again, outdoor burning just not recommended at this time. Our high res future cast model indicating a little bit of that cloud cover early this morning and then we'll jump into uh, the lunch hour. And you can see we are mainly dry here in the Albuquerque metro area, but some of these showers flaring up across Roswell, Hobbs and Carlsbad. But again, the precipitation really not amounting to a whole lot. As we head into Friday evening, we're looking at partly cloudy skies and then heading into Saturday, another weak disturbance passing by and that will bring another small chance for a few spotty showers right here across central and also into northern New Mexico. Across the southeast today, we had that slight chance for a few showers in Roswell. We'll top out at 60 six degrees and then mid 70s for Saturday, partly sunny, a 20% chance for a couple of showers on Sunday on Easter with a high of 80 degrees overnight lows in the 40s. Deming, you're at 71 degrees this afternoon. Las Cruces at 72, low 70s in TRC and up in the four corners after a chilly start. We warm up nicely in Chinle and Window Rock with highs in the middle to upper 60s, 68 degrees in Farmington. I think we'll stay mainly dry through the holiday weekend and then we're back in those mid 70s by Monday. 77 on Tuesday, so looking really nice up there. Chama, you're at 54 this afternoon. Red River and Angel Fire, upper 40s to low 50s. Taos coming in at 59, 62 in Santa Fe, and we'll also keep in that 10% chance for a couple of stray showers over the holiday weekend. Las Vegas topping out at 56. Santa Rosa back in the low 60s in the East Mountains today, upper 50s to low 60s across the board, and even here in the metro, we warm up to 68 degrees in Berlin and out toward Los Lunas, west side at 66 Corrales at 67 66 in Rio Rancho today mainly dry through the weekend. We're back in the 80s by Tuesday of next week, even right here in Albuquerque, a 10% chance for a couple of stray showers over the holiday weekend and nearing 80 degrees for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.